Does everyone understand? Any questions? Okay. Get out of here! Go! Forget about them. Okay, we're all done. Tell your mom and dad that I can go back to teaching Brie on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. and you at 7.45. Doing better? Do I need to the? That's your parents' decision. Your sister still really needs the help. Now get to lacrosse. seems to check out. Well, I have never, in my 25 years of medicine, seen anything like this. Are you sure she was directly hit by lightning? From all witness accounts, yes. We're waiting on the, the footage from the school, their surveillance cameras. Now, again, I've never seen anything like this. You checked everything, right? Well, yeah, every test we ran has turned up nothing. Uh, her blood pressure is slightly elevated, but other than that, nothing. story of a local teen that is struck by lightning and lives and we have the video to prove it that's next when new so am i supposed to carry the five <sighs> yeah i think you could do that your mama be there i says in a minute she'll be baby <clears throat> if i carry the five am i supposed to add it to this number baby look if that's the right thing to do that's 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 what you do yeah yeah. You're not any help at all. Oh, show the story again. Shelby Carson, a deaf student from Hill High, miraculously received no injuries. Look right there. Lightning directly hits her lacrosse stick. Mama, I need help. Hey, baby. Damn. Ooh. Hey. Jason, can you uh, turn off the TV? It's upsetting Bree. Did you just give me a sec? Don't you have a TV at your house? Feel that if the city won't help them, get up. Get the Excuse me, what'd you say? Then I was finna use the restroom. My stomach hurt bad. Ah. Mm. Okay. Okay, so what you need help with, baby?
tonight, Mom? Shelby? Yes? Ah! What is Wait. it? What's, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? She, um... She's she, right there. She just spoke in her voice. Kate, you tripping. No, she just spoke. I can hear you, Mom. I can hear you. Oh, my God. Why is this happening? I'm scared. Shelby? Okay, baby, can you, can you hear my voice? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can you, um... Can you... Can you hear this? Yes. Can you turn it down, please? Why is this happening? Okay. I need another one of these. This is wow. Okay. I do. Okay, so um, we're gonna call the doctor in the morning. I think just right now you should just get just get some rest. Can I sleep with Shelby? Well, I'll ask up to your sister. Sorry, bruh. Can you, like, tell your brother to go home? Okay. Okay, but... I love you, Bob. I love you, too. What's up, bruh? Yo, man. Yo, man, you, you know you got a beer. Mate, you need to go. Hey, y'all gonna eat the rest of this? Uh. Yeah, you can. You can have that. Okay. Hey, look, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this ketchup because there's only a corner left. Whatever, man. Just... All right. I'm leaving, all right? Okay. What y'all think going with Shell? I don't know. We're going to take her to the doctor again in the morning. It's like her talking and hearing is a little freaky. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, mean, I read these stories about people who get struck by lightning. A lot of weird stuff starts to happen after. Where you read that at, Jason? In books and stuff. You don't read books and stuff, Jason. Okay. Bruh. Do your wife always gotta talk to me like this? Look, please, Jason, just, just let it go. Man, I mean, this ain't nothing but God. Okay, you can just, just stop. What else is it? Okay, it gotta be God. Just because you don't believe in God, that doesn't Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I never said I didn't believe in God. I believe in something all-powerful. Why am I even explaining this to you? I just don't, I just don't believe in religion. It's the same thing, Kate. Wow. Jason, Jason. Why don't you put that wine back? I don't even know how they got there. I was... This, this a good... I will not even take this, bro. Mm. What's wrong, baby? It's Shelby. She's talking weird and it's scaring me. I can do that. It's hard to hear you. Why are there so many voices? Baby, who are you talking to? Just a friend. What, what friend? Um, we just, we just heard you talking to someone there. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Yes, what? That's who I was talking to. Who? I was talking to God. I'm gonna need a glass for this. This is this, this, this too. Oh, baby, you were talking to God. It's hard to explain, but can you try, Uncle Jason? I need to tell you something. You go right ahead, baby. I wish you would stop drinking. Oh, look, Uncle, <laughs> Uncle, don't drink anymore. <laughs> you know those pains you've been getting in the side of your stomach? Uh huh. You know what? By the way, I don't even feel them no more. I want you to go to the doctors. It's the beginning of cirrhosis of the liver. What, what, what you mean, baby? Why, why, why would you say something to me like that? God told me. Okay. All right. Okay, that's enough. Uh, you need to go home. Uh, baby, you need to just, just get some rest. It's been a long day. Okay? So um, we're going to call the doctor in the morning. All right, baby? Let's just go. Come on, baby. Night. Oh, Bree, do you still want to sleep with me? I don't think they believe me. I tried explaining. 
Baby, we need to call the doctor now. You think it just takes some getting used to? reflux. The doctor wants him to take two when you get home, and that should calm the heartburn down. Have a good day. He doesn't have acid reflux. I beg your pardon? Huh? You need to go back and talk to the doctor. Your husband has a 75% blockage of his right coronary artery. They'll be able to treat it with no problem, though. Who are you? Shelby Carson. I just thought you should maybe consider talking to the doctors again. There is no scientific explanation I can give you. It's just one of those things that happens. Come on, doctor. My daughter was hit by lightning, and now her hearing is restored. She lost her hearing at around nine months of age, correct? Yeah. Yes. Complications of meningitis. Right. I understand, and I can run more tests, but the MRI and CAT scans are all negative. Come on, baby. So, Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? How did you know? How did she know what? The doctors thought that my husband has acid reflux disease. Okay. She knew that he was misdiagnosed. She told us he had a blockage in his heart. And that's exactly what the doctors are suspecting now. How did you know? Okay. Excuse us. We, we gotta go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, you guys take care. Thank you. Shell. Yes? Be honest. Did you uh, somehow see that man's chart? No. Then how'd you know that information? I was told. By who? Mm -mm. No. Oh, no. By who? By God. Okay. This God stuff, it's got to stop right now. Kate? No, this is getting crazy. Now, Shelby, you know you are not talking to God. Why would you say that? He gives me little bits and pieces. Stop it. Just stop it. Honey, God is a fictitious person created by man. That's not true. He was created by religious leaders to instill fear in people. It's their way of controlling the masses. He's no more real than, than, than Santa Claus. Kate, stop it. No, Sam. She has a right to believe in God. We agreed we wouldn't impose our beliefs on our kids. What she is saying is so crazy. Dad, you believe in God, don't you? Of course I do, honey. Of course I do. Can we change the subject, please? Please. Why can't you just admit that it was God who has allowed me to hear? If there's a God, Shelby, seriously, why would he let bad things happen to good people? Okay. Why are there wars? Why do little children starve? Why does he allow children to contract diseases like meningitis? That's not which fair. causes them to go deaf. 
robbing a mother of the gift of conventional communication with her child? If there's a God, Kate. he wouldn't let these things happen. No, Kate. no, Sam, Kate. no. You know, I thought we were going to change the subject. No, Bree. How many times do I have to show you this? I just don't understand it. I'm trying. I know, sweetie, but you need to concentrate harder. We're going to finish this tonight, young lady. Okay? Okay. Oh. Hey, how's it going, guys? Take a break, okay? Um, Kate? Yeah? Can I talk to you for a second? Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think that we need to get pre-tested. For what? I don't know specifically, but she's reading way below grade level. She's struggling with spelling. She's not improving at all, and I've tried everything that I can think of. Hi, Miss Jennifer. Hey. Did she... Did she just speak to me? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> can you hear me, Shell? Yes. Oh, my God. How did this happen? She started hearing after the lightning strike. You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, Lord. Okay, you can calm down, though. Hey, guys. Hi, Daddy. Hey, baby. Baby? Hey, baby. How was your day? No. How was your day? Miss Trump. Honey. Baby, I'm so sorry. I mean, with this and the Ramsey's calling all the time, I'm starting to get a little stressed. Yes, I want you to file another appeal. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. No. <sighs> Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I just... We have witnessed a miracle. A miracle from God. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a blessing. Hello? Who told you that? No, um, not now. Please, please respect our privacy. Thank you. Who was that? Probably someone from the TV stations. They've been calling all day. What? Channel 4. They want to do a follow-up on Shelby and rumors about her hearing. How'd that get out? I bet you it was somebody from the doctor's office. That's illegal. They wouldn't risk a lawsuit. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jason. Ooh, bingo. Y'all got some food up in here today. Uh, hey, Sam. Yeah. When you get a second, bro, I need to holler at you. All right. Jason. Uh, did you call Channel 4? Nope, not me. Stop lying. I'm not lying. I called Channel 7. Has my uncle always been this crazy? Been that way since high school. We voted him class clown every year since freshman year. Why would he call the news? Kate. I mean, is he in the family? Is he out the family? Look, I'm going to take a shower. Can I be done? Yeah, baby. We shouldn't be listening to this adult conversation anyway. Come on. Okay. When are you going to go see Randy? Hmm? He asks me about you all the time. <laughs> He's lonely. You really should go visit him. Mm -hmm. Why, Jennifer? Why? Because you were best friends with him in high school, and I'm the only one who seems to visit him. Right. He's noticing right. that. Right. It hurts right. his feelings. All right. All How much right. in 13 years has he gone and visited right. his best friend? <laughs> right. Hey, Mom, can I tell you something? Yeah, baby. <sighs> Brie has a learning disability. Okay, Shelby, stop it. No, she doesn't. Wait, why do you think that, Shelby? She's dyslexic. 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 I can, I can test her for that. Uh -uh. No, I can't. I can test her for that. But, but why do you think that? Well, I was told. You were told by who? Mm-mm. Don't ask. By God. Okay. God? What? Ever uh, since the accident, Shelby, she's been saying some weird stuff. She says she talks to God a few times a day. Just, just No, go. no, 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 no. I, I think she actually is. Oh, really, Jason? You can stay out of it. Stay out of what? Look, I went to the doctor, like Shelby told me to. I have a slightly enlarged liver. And the beginnings of cirrhosis of the liver. Now, how does she know that? Oh, Jason. Something else going on with my niece besides her getting her hearing back. 
something bigger has to be happening here because... Okay, so Shelby couldn't hear since she was a baby, right? Yeah. So then if her hearing was restored, she shouldn't be able to speak so clearly. Things happen. Okay, this is just too much. Look, do you know your daughter is something like a prophet? Okay, now you sound crazy. <laughs> sound crazy, but your daughter knew I had the beginners of cirrhosis of the liver. Yeah, because you drink like a fish and you need a job. A job? What does a job have to do with anything, Kate? Whoa, whoa. Kate, she did tell that man at the doctor's office that he was misdiagnosed. Lucky guess. Okay, I want to hear more about this, but I've got to go. Hey, look, can I get a ride? My car in the shop. What? How do you got a car in the shop and you don't even have a car? Kate, just don't, don't even listen to her, please. I can take you, but you got to keep your hands to yourself. Myself? Girl, back in junior high school, you couldn't even keep your hands off me. You must be delusional. When are you going to grow up, honestly? What? You and all your homegirls, y'all all like me. <laughs> well, if you're so high in demand, then why is it that you're alone now? I got plenty of women. What you talking about? You got plenty of women. You got no women because you got no job. You know there's a janitorial position available at Hill. I'll get you an application. I'm not doing that. Why not? I don't even see how you do that. What do you mean? Come on, girl. That's like a constant reminder of Randy and Angie. Maybe you need a reminder of Brandy, because he's your best friend, and he's an innocent man, and he's trapped in prison. You know there's no way that he would have killed Angie. No way. We are not about to debate this again. No, we are please. not going to have this then conversation we not. again. Then we not. Okay, then. Okay. Okay, so stop. Well, stop. Why are you killing? What? What? Just to... no. <sighs> Man, you are so stupid. Okay, I'll take that, too. Stupid. You so really, stupid. really like me. Would you come on, please? I can tell. Look at your eyes, how you talk to me. You like black. You really want to be black. Okay, I want to be black. You wish your daddy and your mama was black. I know. <laughs> Backpack open. Shelby. Shelby, what's wrong with you? Why you look like that? It's nothing. No, 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 no. What you mean, nothing? What's wrong with what happened? What are you doing in Daddy's car? Oh. You know, I drive it all the time. This, it's like both ours. Not, <laughs> oh, so he's still in court? Yeah, your daddy been in there all day. And you know, I got a few errands to run, and you was running my air. Look, go get in the car. Just get in the car, okay? Shelby, whoa, Shelby, whoa. Shelby. Get, me. Hold up, hold up, just hold up, please. Now look, my name is Jason Carson, okay? I'm Shelby's uncle, and if we got any interview questions, can we please, please do this respectful and do this one by one, one at a time, please. Okay. I'm ready to go. <sighs> look here, okay? Can you please just know that how we can monetize off of this publicity? Do you know what we can do with this? Do you understand? What do you mean? Just trust your uncle, okay? Just, just trust me on this, all right? Please. We just go. We gonna go. We gonna go. Just, just, just what? Okay. Uh, so, Jason, uh, once the lightning strikes, she began to hear. That's correct. That's amazing. Well, you know, it's like she got this extra gift from God. It's ah, oh, man. What extra gift would that be? Well, you know, it's like she can let people know what's going on with them. Seriously. What's that? Seriously. Well, you know, okay. Just the other day, she, she tells me that I got this illness brewing in my body and went to the doctor and she was right. Oh, my God. What the doctor said? She right! I had an illness in my body! <laughs> Maybe it was just a lucky guess. No, 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 no. I'll make it better for you. Tell him something about himself. Just you please, please just go home. We yeah. don't go. We go. Shelby, how, how are you able to do that? Well, I just talk to God and he tells me things. Uh, so you basically pray? Well, I do that too. Shelby, just tell him something. Just, 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 just tell you him. You know, people are going to have a hard time believing that. So can you help us out? Okay. Neil Scott. See? 
Everybody, she know his name. She said his name. I, I'm not sure we should count that as knowing something about someone. I've been reporting for Channel 7 for three years. I'm sure she's seen me on TV. Well, you know you're going to have to cut this interview short, right? Your mother-in-law's trying to call you. Your wife's gone into labor, and the contractions are currently six minutes apart. Your wife's pregnant? Yes, but... Your phone's ringing in your pocket right now. Yes. You're kidding me. Oh, my God. Tell her I'm on my way. All right. Cal, we got to wrap this up. Hey, Neil. Your wife's pregnant, right? I got to go. Please tell the doctor that the umbilical cord is wrapped around your son's neck. You're going to need a C-section. Son. Hey, Neil. Your wife's pregnant, right? What I tell you? You better hurry up. A medical cord! His wife is pregnant. Do you know him personally? No. Okay, that's enough. Everybody, we pleased. We enjoyed your answers and your, I mean, your questions and everything Shelby, today. Are you, Shelby, get in the car, are you please. Sure you don't know Neil personally? Look, I am Jason Carson. I'm Shelby's uncle, okay? Shelby, how do if you we know have any more questions, can you please call me at 404 555 2347? And please just know God is always yeah. good. God is on your All side. Right. All right, now. <laughs> Wow, saw you on TV. Ooh, before you say anything. Shut up, Jason. All right. Shelby, honey, you're starting to look real crazy, like a religious fanatic. Mom, why can't you accept the fact that God tells me things? Because you don't know anything about God? Honey, you've never even been to church. You the one to talk. Mind your business, Jason. I am. Mom, God has given me the ability to help others. I just, I just don't believe that. Shelby. Tell your mama something. Tell your mama something right now. You do it, Shelby. Tell her. Okay. Grandma's pearl earrings. The pearl earrings, the ones you accused me of taking, that's been missing for five years now. Because you, know you did. No, I didn't. They're in the basement, in Grandpa's wallet, in a Stacy Miller shoebox. There you go. In a wallet. Go look. Okay, see, I don't have time for this silliness. Remember, a Stacy Miller box. Shut up, Jason. Okay? Got my brother over here looking at me like I'm some Jason, little Jason, shut up. Boy, you get on my nerves. You get on mine. This is Neil Jr. We had a few complications, but he is... He's here, and uh, my wife is resting comfortably. Now, Neil, something very unusual happened today other than the birth of your son. Can you share that with us? Yes, uh, Shelby Carson, the Hill High student we've been covering, believes that after her incident, uh, that God has given her the ability to somewhat foresee things. And um, I'm, uh, I'm here to bear witness to that. Listen to what she tells me. Please tell the doctor that the umbilical cord is wrapped around your son's neck. They'll need a C-section. Son. Neil! Neil, your wife is pregnant, right? First off, my wife and I didn't know the sex of our baby, and uh, she told me I was going to have a boy. And uh, the cord... The cord was wrapped around my son's neck, and uh, it, it, it would have cut off his air supply. Uh, we're gonna get back to Neil in just hey, a baby. bit. Look, we need to get you hooked up with a carnival or something. Okay? Now, you need to listen to Uncle now. What? Have you not seen what's going on outside? What the hell? What is this? 
Some craziness going on. Ooh, what kind of sandwich is that? A meatless ketchup and cheese sandwich. Because somebody ran out of lunch meat over here. Where's Bree? What's going on, Kate? Hey, look at all these people. What's wrong? What, what are you talking about? What the heck? All right, look. Let me go handle this. No, wait on your brother. No, no, no. I'm not waiting on my brother. Let me handle this. <laughs> is Jesus real? What is oh, it sound like? Oh, 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 quiet down, please. Please, please quiet down. All right, look. Listen, OK? For any news outlets seeking any interviews, Please come see me, okay? Relax, please, relax. Look, okay, yes, I am an entrepreneur, all right? And I'm a recording artist. And I got a demo set for release this summer. And it's definitely going to be a banker. There's no way for her to know. You can't look into someone's eyes and tell that they're dyslexic. The tests that we do on Brie... They're very complicated. Kate, I think that Shelby might be blessed with a gift. I don't know what to think anymore. Look at this fool. What about your niece? Is she psychic? No, my niece is not psychic. She speaks directly to God. Man, you believe that? Yes, I do. Where's Shelby at? Or my niece. She's resting. Who is this? Um, this is, um... <sighs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Cindy. See, I, I just met her, Kate, and it was love at first sight. It was? Yeah, you probably don't know that, but it's gonna be. I'm Shelby's mom. I would really like to speak with your daughter. Yeah, well, she's busy. She busy? Shelby's busy, man. My baby ain't Shem. Um, look, please help on God, okay? I think that's a little one. Okay, but can you please let me know if she got a rack of kids or if she got any STDs or a criminal record? That's not the one for you, Unc. What you mean that's not the one for Unc? She is fine. No, no, look at her. Look at her. This is my niece, Shelby. Hi, Shelby. I'm Cindy. You want me to get you a glass of water or anything? Uh, yeah, sure. You want room temperature, hot, what? Oh, whatever you got. Okay. Just... Oh, man. Pleased to meet you. So do you want me to tell you something about yourself? No, no. I just wanted to... Just wanted to ask you, do you really think you're talking to God? Oh. Why are you asking her that? Are you a reporter? No, I'm not a reporter. So you say you're getting messages from God? No, ma'am. Honey, you gotta go. Jason, she got to go. What's the problem? What? Come here, baby. What, 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 what done happened? Come here. Get off of me. Wait, 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 wait. Relax now. What's going on? You're not talking to God. What? Only I talk to God. Are you sure you're not talking to Satan? You're not a prophet. She's not a prophet. You're not a prophet. God didn't me to represent him not you what do you know of god what do you know of god you know nothing Dad. god has been there for me he has done Dad. so much for me matthew beware of false prophets who come in sheep's clothing and that's you that's you little girl that's you get off me you get the door okay get the door i got it Jason, don't you ever bring somebody into this house that you don't know. What is wrong with you, Jason? Look, I'm sorry, Shelby. And I want those people off my property right now. I take care of it, Kate. Baby. Things were so much better when I was deaf. Baby, don't, don't say that. My life was easier. I can't help that God gives me messages of truth to tell people. I didn't ask to be a vessel. He chose me. That's not my fault. Baby, 
I know things about people that I don't even want to know. And sometimes the information scares me. I didn't ask to be struck by lightning. My sister's afraid of me. And you think I'm crazy? I wish I was normal again. Honey, okay. Honey, why don't you just go and lay down, okay? Just go and lay down, and I'll be there in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Sam, I mean, can they just sit out there all day and night? The neighbors are pissed. Yeah, they can sit out there as long as they're not on our properties. But they're on the sidewalk and our lawn. Well, the sidewalk's a common ground, but if they're on our lawns, then it's private. Then there's something we can do about it. Well, yeah. yeah. Mom, why don't we just let me go out there and tell them to leave? Oh, no, 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 uh-uh, you're not going out there. Those people are crazy. Are you forgetting that nut that your uncle had in here earlier? They just want answers, that's all. Hey, uh, how long has Meatloaf been in the fridge? Oh, you can have that. I didn't ask you that, Kate. I said, how long has it been? Do you ever go home? You know what? I just take the white pieces off. Did you tell him yet, Unc? What, babe? How about your eviction? You got evicted? <sighs> Look, I... <laughs> I did. Look, I thought you help people with information. I do. Are you not helping me right now? Hey, where have you been staying? My friends. Dad's car. What? Okay, Shelby, I, I handle it from here, okay? I, I got this. Why are you going to say something? Look, bro, I, I didn't know my unemployment benefits were going to get cut off so quickly. You shouldn't have left Best Buy. I told you you should have been out there looking for a job. It's not that easy, Kate. It is easy if you put some work into it. Okay, are they hiring you at? What? Huh? No. I, can, I can come up with some ads? You need a degree, fool. To come up with some commercials? You, you just you sound... You need no degree for that? You just okay, please, crazy. please, both of you. <laughs> Jason, go get your stuff. You can stay in the guest room. He can? Yes, he can. Until he gets a job. But he's not looking, Sam. Let's just give it a month. You know Jason has no skills. Well, I know he has no skills, but we gotta be supportive. He's my brother. I'm in the kitchen with everybody. You're not gonna talk about me like I'm not here. What is the word of God sound like? What are you saying? Your son's gonna make it. You just have to put your trust in him. You do understand me, don't you? Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Shelby, why didn't you tell him? Where, where did you get that from, Shelby? I don't know why I volunteered to do this. It's like having a full-time job. It really is. You know what I could be doing better things in my life, Shelby? Playing PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or something. This is crazy. Look, back up, please. Sam. How's Randy doing? He's not well, Sam. This coming Thursday marks his 13th year in prison. I know, but, but nothing. Sam, no disrespect, but I, I can't believe we've exhausted every avenue. We have. Can't we file another appeal? Guys, we've done all we can do. Can't we uh, sue the police department for, for losing evidence crucial to this case? The circumstantial evidence was overwhelming. Having the misplaced DNA evidence would have been nice, but I'm not sure it would have exonerated Randy. 
Do you have any idea what it feels like to have your child caged like an animal? <laughs> do you? Tiffany, now that night goes by, I do not think about Randy. Okay, I miss him too. Please, just tell me there's something more we can do. There's just not enough evidence to prove him innocent of killing Angie. So many people have recanted their stories. Is, is, isn't that enough to try to get the case reopened? Yes. Um, Angie's own parents don't think that Randy killed their daughter. They said that? Yes. yes. It just doesn't add up, Sam. Randy and Angie have loved each other since they were in the sixth grade. <laughs> I can try filing another appeal. But no promises. We've been down this road. I'll do what I can. This is it. Just one box? I don't need one. Never have. Is this your yearbook? Yeah, back in the day. Let's see. Where'd this come from? Where'd I get... What is Is that, that Miss Jennifer? <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> yeah, that's her. Let me see that again. That's her about 30 pounds ago. <laughs> oh, why you hitting me, Jennifer? For real? If they don't... Listen! Can, can we go outside and talk to these people, please? Mom, I'm going out there. No, I said no, honey. Come on, Kate, I'll go with her. It's I will. not safe, Jason. So maybe if she goes out there and talks to them, maybe they'll leave. They will leave. <sighs> what have we got to lose? Hmm? All right, let's go. Thank you. Oh, my God. I want to go, too. Well, come on, baby. <sighs> All right, come on, girl. Let's go. Kate? Okay, okay. Settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. I am Samuel Carson. I'm Shelby's father. She'll be answering a few questions on one condition. What's that? That you please leave our street and give us some privacy. Are we agreed? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with Channel 5. Shelby, when did you start hearing the voices? When I was first struck by lightning. Oh, uh, channel 16. How do you hear God's voice? I have a lot of voices going at once, and it makes it hard to concentrate at times. Um, channel 7. Can you actually predict the future? I can't really explain what he sounds like, but I know it's him. press conference is over that is all all right we appreciate it but we had a deal god bless you all right yes bye bye thank you thank you bye bye solomon you know my name yes God says he appreciates you getting the word out. Could you please, please tell him that I... He knows you love him. Okay, all right. Uh -uh. He Let's loves you house. too. Let's go in the house.
Mom? Woo! Oh, girl. Don't just sneak up on me. Oh, Granny's pearls. I told you. Shelby, now you know God did not tell you where these were. You obviously did it yourself. Mama knows things. Like what? Just some things. Shelby, honey, you don't have a gift. That's the crazy part about this. Do you know where this. he is? And the fact that your hearing was restored was... Wait, what? What did you say? Do you know where he is? What are you talking about? Sometimes God gives me messages. And it's hard for me to decipher what it is he's trying to say. Do I know where who is, Shelby? My brother. What? What brother? Who told you that? Mom, it's okay. He forgives you. Who forgives me? God. Shelby, now you know you're just making stuff up. He told me his name is Thomas Paul. Shelby. And I googled him. He lives in College Station, Texas. He's studying to be a pharmacist. Stop it! Okay, stop it! Where is this all coming from? God. He doesn't just make stuff up. You were 15 and scared, and you have nothing... You know what? Just shut your mouth! You hear me? Mom, is there a reason you didn't tell Dad? What did I say? What did I say? Miss Maria? Hey, Jennifer, come in. come in. How's Bree doing? Much better. I'm still trying to wrap my head around Shell knowing that she was dyslexic. I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I ask you how Randy's case is going? <sighs> That's funny you brought that up. I was just about to call the Ramseys. Oh, is it good news? I'm sorry, I can't talk to you about this. Uh, why not? It's unethical to discuss any case outside of my clients. I'm sorry. So Randy's been in jail for 13 years, and all you're concerned about is your ethics? Whoa, whoa. Jennifer, calm yeah. down. No, you know what? You're calm enough for the both of us, Sam. You don't see what's happening to him in there? I visit him every weekend. He's deteriorating in there. They're stealing his innocence. He's not the same person that he was in high school. And you've been on this case for five years. What have you done? Nothing. You promised the Ramses when they hired you that you could get Randy out, so why isn't he out? Jennifer, hold on a second. Hold on. First of all, I never promised the Ramses that I'd get Randy released. You don't know the law. It's not that simple. And lastly, I think it's awfully unfair for you to accuse me of not doing everything in my power to get Randy a new trial. Is Bree done? Yes. Good. Goodbye. Sam, I'm so sorry. You're right, that was completely out of line. I know that you're doing everything that you can. It's just... Randy's my best friend, you know? Um, sorry again. I'll show myself out. Jennifer sounded angry. Right. Can't say I blame her. Well, do you believe me when I say God talks to me? Well, I, I do believe God talks to us, but not necessarily verbally. More in his actions. Daddy, I hear his voice. Could it maybe be his voice? No, it's his voice. Okay. But you do know that this may be hard for your mom to accept. Hard for her? It's hard for me. I hate hearing. I wish I was deaf again. Hey, don't say that. I do. 
This comes with too much responsibility. Hearing is so overrated. Overrated? <laughs> <laughs> Show, give me one moment. Hey, Harold. I don't have good news. I was going to call you, but I thought it'd be best to wait till the morning. Without the DNA evidence, the judge will not hear our case. Again, guys, I am I'm so sorry. Goodbye. The DNA evidence isn't lost. What? The DNA evidence from the Ramsey case, it's not lost. It's just been misfiled. What are you talking about? It's stuck in a file cabinet in a folder titled Rambus. Rambus. Thanks to modern technology, an innocent man walks free today. Unfortunately, Randy Ramsey can never get back the 13 years he lost. Is it true you will be filing a civil suit against the police department? I can't comment on that right now. Can you confirm or deny that your daughter gave you the information about where to locate the DNA evidence? I can't comment on that either. But I can say, through the grace of God, justice prevailed today. Mom, you haven't spoken to me in three days. Mom, I know you hear me. Shelby, I don't know what you want from me. I don't want you acting like I don't exist. Hi, is that good? Mom? Shelby, I'm busy. Was I your firstborn? Please, Shelby, I just don't want to talk about that. Okay. Shelby. Yes, ma'am? always forgives. Mom, it's not about God forgiving you. It's about you forgiving yourself. Please tell me thank you. Please tell me thank you for me. You need to tell him. How do I do that? Just pray. I don't know what to say. Just believe in him. And speak from your heart, and I promise he'll hear you. Talking about Brie, math is your easiest subject. I just don't like the word problems. Mm. Yeah, no word problems. Hey, Shelby. Hi. Can you believe the news? Incredible how they found DNA after all this time, right? 
Did you hear? Wait a second. That was you, wasn't it? No. Nope. It was Scott. Wow. I'm just so happy for Randy. Anyone who knows him knows that he would never hurt a fly. He was crazy about Angie. I just hope that they find her killer. Well, Dad says the police are going to interview our campus security guard today at school. Oh, my God, not Kirk. Kirk Terry? We have breaking news just in. In the Angie Warfield murder case, Kirk Terry of East Point, an employee at Hill High School, was taken into custody today. Mr. Terry, Mr. Terry, Mr. Terry, Mr. Terry, Mr. Terry. what do you have to say about, about the evidence? It's true, sir. You don't think it was Kirk, do you? Mm, no. Who do you think it was then? I'm not totally clear, but I know she knew her killer. She did? Hmm. He hasn't made it clear to me yet. Shelby, do you understand how incredible this would be for you if you were able to help the police find the killer? Maybe if I focus more on it. I'm sure God will give me more information when he's ready. Let's pray that he does. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go home. Lots of papers to grade. Just let your mom know I'll pick up the check from her next week. Okay. Okay. Surprise, surprise. I love you. Mm, I love you too. Thank you. Mm. So, um, can we talk? Are you busy? Can we talk? Of course. Of course. What's wrong? Is this about Shelby? Oh, no, no, no. It's, um, it's about me. Okay. It's just something I never told you before when I was 15 I got I got pregnant and um, it was a boy and my mother you know being very religious, like, termination was not an option. I was a good girl. We gave him up for adoption. I just, I just don't like that, like, I kept that from you. see me differently? I mean, can you forgive me? I love you. Okay, I can't hold you responsible for something you did when you were a teenager. I'm just shocked. That's all. It's just, it's just shock. I'm sorry. I'm not telling you. What voice? She says the voices are really loud. Please come, make them stop. I won't stop. Please come, make them stop. Baby, what, what are you hearing? I won't stop. I gotta make them stop. Please, please, God, please make them stop. Please. Yes. 
Do you want to talk? No, Dad. I just want to go to sleep. I'm tired. Okay. Okay. Get your rest. Hey, Bree is down. Okay, we we gotta take her to see someone. No, she's gonna be fine. Look, I don't know. That right there was real scary. Trust me, she's gonna be fine. I want to sit with her in a minute. All right. Besides, you got a big day tomorrow, Jay, so you should go to sleep anywhere. Yeah. A big day? What you talking about? Well, Jennifer said that you went in for the custodial job and got it. Congratulations, by the way. She also said you start tomorrow, so. I turned that job down. You what? I turned the job down. Like, come on, what I look like with a mop in my hand? Can I talk to you for one minute? I was just about to eat lunch with my best friend. It'll only take one second. Hi, uh, Donna, can you excuse us, please? Thank you. So what's up, Miss Jennifer? Well, I was thinking about our conversation that we had last night and I really think that there's something to that Terry Kirk theory. See, I, I was thinking about it and I remember that Angie told me personally that he used to stare at her and it made her feel really creeped out. I cannot believe that they let him out this morning. Well, my dad said they didn't have enough evidence to hold him, so, oh well. I'm gonna go have lunch with my friend now, so. Well, <laughs> how are you liking the job? Look in here, okay? First of all, you see all this? Uh-huh. You see all this? That's your job. That means I'm not having a blast doing this job, okay? You're welcome. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay? And Shell, look, you might have to wait a couple hours after school for me to take you home, okay? It's fine. I'll just do some homework or something. Actually, I have to tutor Bree later, so I can take you home. Actually, I, I can wait. No, 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 baby. You don't got to wait. You don't got to wait. She can go ahead and take you home because yeah. I don't know what they got me doing later. All right. All right, do your homework, okay? So, I'll be in the teacher's parking lot, okay? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, you ready? I think I'm just gonna wait on my uncle. Come on, Shelby, he's gonna be late. You know, it's, it's fine, it's not a problem. What's with you? Nothing, I'm just... Come on, then. Okay. Don't you? What are you talking about? 
talking about Miss Jennifer? Just cut the Miss Jennifer crap. Okay? Now tell me, what did he tell you? I don't... I said, what did he tell you, damn it? What, 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 Donna, what, what? Look, I'm not good with that sign and stuff. What are you saying? What? Jennifer, she's a great person. Oh. Okay, 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 just relax, relax, Donna, hold on. Oh, my God. taking me okay just look relax okay donna stay right here please just stay right here donna oh my boy i need answers what's wrong miss jennifer just be honest with me shelby okay for the last time what do you know Riverview Road? What do you know, Shelby? What do you know? Would you answer my question, please? I don't know anything, Miss Jennifer. Yeah, you know, you're lying to me. I'm not lying. Just tell me what he told you. You're lying to me. No, I'm not lying You're lying to me. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, Miss Jennifer. Don't lie to me. All you have to do is be honest. Okay? Please, 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 please. Come on, please. Hurry up! You're going to hurt me. I don't want to hurt you, Shelby, okay? I just need you to talk to me, okay? You know me. Okay? I just... I need to know what you know. Why are we going down this dirt road? I am asking you the damn questions, okay? Shelby? Shelby? You don't know where you are, do you? This is where it happened. Come on now, Shelby. I'm not gonna hurt you. Everything was fine. Everything was almost perfect until you came around and screwed everything up! I visited him every weekend while he was in prison. I saw him falling in love with me. I just had to get him to forget about Angie.
Are you in there? I can hear you breathing. Randy didn't want you like that. You misread him. Says who, you little bitch? Huh? Is that God talking or is that Shelby? Shut up! Just shut up! You're not listening to me! Angie wouldn't listen to me. I wasn't trying to kill her. I was just trying to reason with her. I was trying to show her that, that Randy wanted me, not her! At the basketball game, I can stream him. When Randy scored 22 points, he ran up to me and he hugged me! He hugged me, not her! I know that he wanted me, but Angie just wouldn't get her claws off of him! Why don't we just pray? Yes, right off of Riverview! Please send someone! Do you think praying is gonna help me? Yes, ma'am. Does God think it will help me? Yes, he does. I don't think it's going to work, Shelby. I don't want to go to jail. My life just started. I want to get married. I want to have kids. It's okay, Miss Jennifer. He forgives you. Do you think so? Yes. Miss Jennifer? Yeah, sweetie? I'm coming out now, okay? Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Let's, let's pray. Dear God, just like I said. <laughs> You know I love you, all right? You're my love brother, you all right? But uh, I know you got a concussion, but you got to go to work, but... Come, come, come all right, on, you got Listen, don't, don't give me that ball-headed talk, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm going to work, and I plan on going to work, and I will be out your house soon. <laughs> Leave your brother alone. You guys know this isn't necessary. I can walk. Okay, baby. Do you need Uncle to do anything for you? Uncle Jason, go to work. <laughs> Okay, this, this, y'all got this girl like that. Uh, everybody on my job. Look, you call me if you need anything, okay, baby? Yes, sir. Hi, right, I love you. Mm. I see y'all family. All right. Love y'all. I got All right. to go mop. All right. Hey, baby, I you need okay? you to drive. I got to finish up an email. Okay? Oh, no problem. No, you can't. Please get off that time. I need five minutes. Ten times. Ten times. Honey, how was, how was dance class? Good. I loved it. 
you loved it. You tell me what you learned. Going back there, sweetie. We got in touch with Thomas Paul. I, I, Mom, there's something wrong with Shelby. Mom, cat here. You what? Cat here. Anything. Say, if something's wrong with Shelby. Cat here, Daddy. Why are you talking like that? Baby, can you can you hear us? All right, pull over, Kate. Pull over. Really, cat here. Don't know. Everything silent. <laughs> this fella. My mama never thought healing. Disability now can hear God son with that. Wait for no your voice. Sounds like that Healing over way that <laughs> Okay.